Hey friends, uh, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about call options and uh, put options. Uh, call options and put options are very important as they are the uh, fundamental building blocks of more complex option strategies such as uh, iron condor, butterfly, and spreads. Right, all these uh, more more advanced strategies re require uh, calls and uh, put options. Right, so so without further ado, let's just uh, get into it. First, what is call option? A call option gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation to buy an underlying security at a specific price within a specific time. So the specific price refers to a strike price, and the specific time re uh, refers to the uh, the time to expiration. But the key note, uh, key things to note here is the buyer has the right, but not the obligation to buy something. Okay, in this case, the the underlying stock. So, which means, uh, so just to give an example, so if the if the um, the final uh, price at expiration is is uh, if below the strike price, you can choose not to exercise uh, the option. Uh, I mean, it, it will definitely result in uh, a loss. So you has the right not to exercise the option. You can just walk away uh, because the price is not favorable, right? But well, on the other hand, if uh, if the price is above your strike price, then you can, uh, then you have then you have the right to exercise the option contract to get the uh, cheaper uh, stock price. So, uh, while a call option seller has uh, or is obligated to sell an underlying security at a specific price within a specific time when the buyer exercises the option, so which means it is uh, linked. So one option buyer, one option seller. So, uh, so just so we talk about option buyer do not have the obligation. So who has the obligation? The option seller who writes the option. So. Uh, at the expiration, the option seller is obligated to sell the underlying security to the option buyer, right? Because option seller receives the premium while the option buyer pays the premium. Put option is also more or less the same. Um, a put option gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to sell the underlying security at a specific price within a specific time the difference between this and uh, the put and the call is to sell so right now the option buyer has the right to sell but not application to sell though right if the uh, if if the price is above the strike price the put buyer can choose not to exercise the option contract Right, but if um, if if the if the price is below the strike price, the buyer can choose to exercise uh, to to make a profit. Right. Likewise, for option seller, it is uh, obligated to buy an underlying security at a specific price within a specific time when the buyer exercises the option. All right clear uh, pretty simple right so just now we talk about uh, option premium so what exactly is option premium option premium is uh, made out of two components one is intrinsic value and the other one is extrinsic value so what exactly is intrinsic value you might ask intrinsic value is more uh, is uh, it can be roughly translate to if you were to exercise the option uh, contract today um, the value you can get, you can derive from the option option contract is known as the intrinsic value if you exercise now, right? So let's say if uh, if you have a call option contract which has a strike price of uh, hundred dollars and now the uh, the the current trading price is hundred and five dollars, so you have a five dollar. You have a five dollars intrinsic value if you were to exercise it today exercise it right now and then you can just um, 
buy the stock and then sell back to the market and then you can get the five dollar so intrinsic value right? but while extrinsic value which is uh, what we uh, more interested in which is um, made out of uh, time value and implied volatility but normally people will just lump these two together and uh, refer them uh, as time value right but the uh, extrinsic value is made out of time value and uh, implied volatility now let us look at a uh, example of the long call uh, the example we use will be apple uh, the ticker for apple is aapl this is a payoff diagram of apple right uh, here the y-axis is the profit or loss and uh, the x-axis is the surprise right so uh, let's just focus on the green green up uh, green diagram because uh, it is important at at expiration so so this uh so this is the diagram we're going to look at um, at expiration right so let's say the stock price is trading at 145 dollars right now and then we uh we enter a option contract with the strike price 145 dollars so which means it is a at the money option contract right 145 dollars uh but we need to pay eight dollars option premium because we because in order we have the right right as an option buyer we have to pay a certain premium so this time round is eight dollars so we have to add the eight dollars to the 145 stock price to get the break even price at 153 dollars so so which means to say at expiration apple has to move beyond hundred fifty three dollars for us to make a profit right so at hundred fifty three dollars which is derived from the stock price plus the premium then we get hundred hundred fifty three dollars so um, but you might ask how come the cost is eight hundred dollars I thought it's eight dollars but uh, because one contract represents hundred shares hundred uh, shares of underlying stock so we have to times hundred to get the total cost of eight hundred dollars but, but per contract is eight dollars premium so we have to um, add to the 145 to get the 153 dollars for the break-even price at expiration right so the max loss you can have is 800 dollars loss because remember we have the right but not obligation to buy a certain stock so all we can loss all we can lose is uh, 800 dollars no matter what which is the total premium that we paid right but however we can theoretically we can have a uh, unlimited profit because as uh, because we because we bought a option at 100 uh, strike price 153 dollars so if the stock price goes uh goes up uh, significantly or unlimited okay uh, then then we can profit from the difference between the strike price uh to whatever the price uh, that is currently at so so all these are our profit the the higher you go okay the the more profit we have so theoretically we have unlimited but because but of course uh uh in real life or realistically we couldn't get uh, unlimited but just uh, in theory right so so you get the rough idea so max profit is uh the the total cost so the premium we paid eight hundred dollars so the the max profit is uh, theoretically unlimited but how come there is a another purple graph here okay as we said this green this green graph is the expiration this is the current which is right now okay which is right now the payoff diagram for now so you enter a add the money contract 145 dollars obviously it will be uh, zero dollars uh, profit because you just entered this uh, at, at, ex at the money uh, option contract right but how come there's a there's a there's a gap or yeah between the expir ex at expiration and uh, current payoff diagram because all these are time value right time value are also value right because that's how we said the uh, extrinsic value and intrinsic value at, at expiration all these are intrinsic value okay 
without any uh, volatility yeah impact volatility and uh, time value but because this bubble diagram is right now we have we still have like a, a few months away from the ex expiration so we do have the time value data and also the uh, implied volatility yeah that's why you can see this uh, graph is rather gentle in terms of the gradient for the payoff diagram right but uh, as the expiration nears it will uh, it will slowly uh, move closer and closer closer and closer to the uh, at expiration payoff diagram and uh, expiration you will become this this payoff diagram all right so so this is the uh, the the payoff diagram so let us look at the real example uh, the same example which I derived from right so let us get into our uh, our thing or swim platform right this is the Apple APL <coughs> right. so today is uh, uh, 11th of July so we open a so we just look at the 15 October which is 97 days to expiration for Apple Apple now is trading at $145.11 so we just take it as $145 uh, so we enter a so you enter a long long uh, call and just change, change to one and then for eight dollars for uh, simplicity sake okay right uh, analyze trade ah so I think I have to delete all these previous right so so this is the payoff diagram which is, which is what I showed you just now right so this is the payoff diagram uh, the, the green one is the payoff diagram at expiration this is the current the purple one is the current payoff diagram which has a more gentle gradient right so the the uh the premium price is about 150 153 dollars which is what we said just now and then the uh and then the strike price is 145 dollars it's about there right so the uh the max loss is 800 dollars as you can see as you can see from the uh, here, eight hundred dollars, right? This is a max lost, right? And then the max profit is theoretically unlimited because it's still extending upwards. Yeah, if you feel do like uh, you still keep extending upwards, upwards, right? Yeah, when you draw the graph. Okay, let me see what else. Uh, yeah, so. This is the uh, payoff diagram for a long call option, uh, with which is uh, three months, which is about three months away, right? With a premium of eight dollars per contract, right? So yeah, uh, this is a real example of a uh, payoff diagram for Apple. So right, uh, so right now. Let us look at the grids to see their effects on the option price with regards to a long call. The first one is delta, which measures the sensitivity to price change in the underlying stock. The effects is positive uh, because you can profit from the increase in underlying stock, which means to say if Apple stock price were to increase, the delta will increase also. Likewise, if the Apple stock were to decrease, uh, the delta will uh, decrease accordingly right because delta has a uh, uh, the call uh, the the call option will have uh, delta value 0 to 1 <coughs> the next will have theta which measures the, the sensitivity to time decay which is negative uh, which is to say that 
more more time passed, the greater value it loses, which means the option price will lose more value. So, uh, so the more 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 time value will lose due to time decay. The next will be Vega, which measures the volatility, uh, which measures the sensitivity to the implied volatility, which is positive. Uh, the influence of option price is uh, that it will profit from the increase in volatility. Uh, so, for example, if the people will expect uh, people will expect higher uh, higher movements uh, in in stock price uh, when it is the earning season, right? So, uh, so the option price will increase accordingly because op option price also in includes the Vega. So, so that's it, guys. This is the uh, long call option, right? So, see you in the next video. Bye.